Welcome, welcome to another one of my videos. I'm here to show and answer some questions about uh, ventures and partials and shades. And I will start up with uh, the shades. So as you can see, this denture shade over here, you will not see it available at a dental office. They will not offer that to you because it's too extremely white. And my kind of a, um, idea and, and an also answer to this and do not let anybody to kind of talk to you out of, out of any shade that you might be want. It's your money anyway. You uh, have the right to decide and dictate what do you really want. It is your money. If you have been uh, struggling uh, for so many years on, on your self-esteem and then, and then you want um, a really um, shiny and uh, high profile shade, why not? It is your money. And you have to request and know how they request. This is a PW7. It is the whitest shade out there in the market. It's snow white. And then if you want that, then why not? I always go by uh, what people, what you really want. And, and then uh, if I would, you know, I would just say it's just based on people's preference. If whether you dark skin or really white and you know, it is the how you feel about yourself. If you have been for so many years on this type of situations of uh, not feeling okay and you always have been fighting some type of issues with your teeth since day one or when you were a teenager and then now you feel like you want to shine, doesn't matter your age, you have the uh, right to dictate your rules. And then don't forget the wax trans kind of like got important. Uh, and then you get to see your teeth and a wax trans, whether you like it and sign for it and whether you don't like it or, you know, it is up to you and, and picking a shade that you want. And also don't forget that sometimes the issues on on the loose dentures is dark. I talked about that in my previous video and how you ridge and how healthy they are and how much of a uh, undercuts they have. You know, the undercuts, it is the little hook or little divots in your gums that helps the dentures stay together. But uh, you can be able to tell that on you wax trying in the meantime if you are paying so much money for your dentures you should be able to have some anatomy to it you know some fast tuning do not settle for uh dentures that doesn't have any type of characteristic like kind of what i'm doing right now you should not have a plain denture like this you know you're paying good money for your dentures and, and it's plain there is no nothing that can show some type of nature on it and it's just plain just complain you know you should not pay so much money for something like this what's the artistry of that person who created that venture what is the artistry i'm just giving an example in those two you know so you see a lot of dentures like that you know they have to have some type of anatomical um landmarks on the tissue side so uh those uh those type of dentures like that um is unacceptable in my opinion if you're getting it without anything that shows uh what you're paying for so um this is pw7 this over here you see this is a b1 uh this is the most common uh shade that they offer b1 I also don't have anything against this because it's between um, white and uh, darker. It's between both sides and then B1 is not bad. I will go B1 because the color of my skin as a black man then B1 will work out for me. And then uh, it's a low profile. You don't have to 
um, I guess again it's, it's personal preference the B1 and this is what B1 I'm putting some uh, fast tuning to it you know to show you um, how your denture should be like I guess if it doesn't have that you might have a cheap denture because that takes a little bit of time of creating uh, on that denture making so uh, this is a one you know this is uh, a one and every single manufacturer has different type of shades um, they fabricate different type of a uh, slightly different shades on when it comes to the um, uh, the numbers of uh, categories of a shades so this is a1 and this is a1 slightly different right there the shade is slightly uh, different than the other so uh, this is what's going to uh, show you the difference on the shade and also again don't forget to subscribe if you just kind of a um, uh, looking for a good video on uh, talk to you about ventures and um, shades and maybe you are in the right place and if you have a questions write in your comments I'll be able to respond that in a comment and um, and thank you for watching again and with this short video and then show you that um, those the type of a technician here try to help out people answering questions for them and then and then be real um, about what it is going on in the field and also uh, you can subscribe to my Instagram I have an Instagram account I just didn't show lab on Instagram you might be able to see uh, a lot of pictures of adventures that I post on Oh, uh, before I forget, and also tip of partials. The partials you might see, there's all acrylic partials. All acrylic partials, I think, doesn't really work out for some people, you know. Let's imagine having something like this. It is made of all acrylic. There is a wire goes on every tooth, on, on the tooth to hold it in place. Um, for some people, this doesn't work out. It just pops off, and when you're eating, and the food goes underneath of it, and then you have to take it off in order to eat. Um, this type of partials, uh, because they all acrylic and they're not reliable. You can just imagine uh, being on a dinner with a group of people, and this thing just falls out of your mouth, you know, without actually announcing, and then. And then uh, you so embarrassed and run to the bathroom and you keep kind of uncomfortable biting with it. You know, those type of partials really are not good, in my own personal opinion. So, and follow up with this, sometimes when you people talk, you can see this wire on it. You can see that wire, I mean, that metal coming from their teeth and also... Uh, aesthetically, you will not want to see the metals. Um, on your teeth for me and my personal opinion this is the best partials right here flexible um what happened with this is uh it's kind of a thermal plastic so, and in between you get um your food and the heat just blends in with it for some people it's a little uncomfortable because it's really tight but once it's adjusted and you get used to it, it really really works out I think for my opinion is this is one of the best because hides that nobody can tell because the clasp is right here is the same color of your gums it hides really really nicely and you don't have to worry about when you um, eating on a dinner you have a steak or salads and you have to be worried about this no this is a stays in place really really snug and um, sometimes even hard to take off you know the safety on this uh, when it comes to um, dependability and accuracy in everything it, this is the best and you know I believe some people hate some because they too tight 
Uh, some people hate those because it's kind of a they lose and everybody knows that you have a partial song. People hate these because they are acrylic. They, I don't know. I just think uh, everybody has their own preference and then I'm just here to show you the differences between all of them. And I appreciate that you have taken your time to kind of a check check out my videos and don't forget to subscribe again and hit a notification thank you for watching